all the architecture is here came mostly from ruins in Europe. Um, he went after World War I, went and um, dug up a number of um, facades, such as the storefront here, um, and then this one over here, which is the uh, butcher, or the baker shop, and the butcher and the winemaker over there, so that he could create this um, as a 15th century French village. And that's what you're walking into when you come from the Great Hall into the courtyard is you're entering into a 15th century um, French village. The castle was built by John Hayes Hammond, Jr. Um, he was a scientist, and he, um, when he was growing up, he was in Europe a lot, and he fell in love with Gothic cathedrals and museums. So he wanted to create his own here on the North Shore. Well, Disney was a guest in this room many times. Oh, really? He was a big friend of Hammond's, and actually, the first live streaming of Fantasia took place in the Great Hall. He built the museum between 1926 and 29 and um, brought artifacts from Europe here to be put into the walls of the museum as he was building it. He was a prolific inventor. He's probably our sixth largest um, patent holder in the United States. There's a dumb waiter that would send them up to the dining room upstairs where they would be served. And a very serious scientist known as the father of radio control. He um, has over uh, 400 patents and most of which were things that perhaps the Navy um, or the military service could use um, on the field and uh, plus numerous other things similar to um, the first RV um, was one of his discoveries and one of his inventions.